I was going to put together a computer system and I thought why not show everybody what I'm doing because there's people that might not have put together their own computer before and it's pretty simple. So the first step is you'll get a case. Now the case is where all the hardware goes for your system and these days cases have got removable side panels not always it didn't always used to be that way but nowadays it's, it's quite easy there'll be some screws at one end and you take them out and you can slide back this side panel and remove it and put it safely away somewhere and inside this is where you have something that looks confusing now all that you really got is you know in a modern computer case you have these colorful leads and they are the leads that connect the front buttons of the case and the front connections to the motherboard which we'll have a look at in a minute so you can put them aside and there's also <coughs> some some power leads for fans and things which we'll look at in more depth in a minute also in your case in the, in this big box in the corner is the power supply and it's got its own fan and it's got a lot of a lot of power cords connected to it in a big snake now the motherboard now this this is a motherboard that I've it's not uh, brand new it's not it's not a top of the line system it's it's a it's a motherboard that I've had for quite a while and I'm, I'm reinstalling it into this brand new case which is uh, a cooler master I've already installed the CPU I've left that out of this video because that's going to be different for every motherboard and every CPU the thing you have to remember when you are building your own system is to choose the CPU that you want first and then find the motherboard that will have all the features that you need and also accommodate that CPU because not every motherboard can hold every CPU. The main thing to remember is that uh, you have two main CPUs have Intel CPUs and AMD CPUs this is a motherboard designed for an AMD CPU and it can only use AMD CPUs. It has a what's called a socket. That's where the CPU will sit and there's a big clamp that holds the CPU to that socket and on that socket is a heat sink that will uh, help to direct any heat away from the CPU and they're all different so when you buy your own system when you when you're putting it together you probably won't use the same motherboard as this the other thing that's already on here as I've mentioned is the RAM the RAM will have its own its own slot to install into and I've got two one gig sticks of RAM that's that's a that's a term to describe one of these boards of RAM if you can see there's two two boards or two sticks of RAM and they've got their own slots in there and then next to there there's, there's room for two more every motherboard these days has what's called onboard graphics so you don't need a graphics card but if, if you wanted to play some 3D games with some fast 3D graphics you would purchase a graphics card that was designed to deal with graphics specifically the onboard graphics processing isn't as powerful as what you can get with a purpose-built graphics card I'll take out the existing RAM okay there's our two strips on this particular motherboard it might look different on your motherboard I don't know which motherboard you have the main principle is that you have RAM somewhere on there. 
But if you look around this motherboard, there's different, there's all sorts of things. There's the CPU, there's the fan, and I've already fitted that, but that's that's simple to fit once you once you uh, purchase your motherboard, you'll and your CPU, you'll see exactly how to fit that. It's, it's simple, it just clamps onto a certain spot. The only thing for the CPU, just to branch out for a minute, you'll need something like this thermal compound. This one's called silver thermal compound. And what that does is it goes on the one side of the CPU that is the side that touches the heatsink and it fills in all the little gaps between the CPU and the heatsink so that it makes a complete connection. It's a it's almost like there's one surface there and it, it's um, it beds the two surfaces together so that the transfer of heat from the CPU to the heatsink is as good as possible and then your fan can take away that heat and dispel the heat into the case which then gets taken away by another fan that's outside it's on the side wall of the case that's important and you need that but sometimes you'll find the CPU may have its own paste already applied or the motherboard will have a paste already on there but it's handy to have some around just in case it's it's, it's only like three dollars or something for for uh, some thermal compound but getting back to the RAM, these strips where the RAM goes, and on the edges of these strips are some little clips. RAM comes in different speeds. Buy the best RAM that your motherboard can accommodate, and you'll be right. If you can mix different types of RAM, but the the fast RAM will, won't get to operate at maximum speed. So. We take a stick of RAM and it can only go in one way. I'm, now I'm trying to put it into the slot. That's the wrong way. It won't go in. It's easy. You just have to turn it around, find the little grooves and push it gently in. DD is a little bit of force, but not if it's a ridiculous amount of force you, you might have it in the wrong way once again and I'm, I'm holding it on the edges don't don't just grab hold of, of the, the actual chips on the surface there that that's not really good for them and I've got it the wrong way put it in push it in and you'll see the, the, the clips start to move and as you push it in they close all the way up and they lock they lock the RAM into position so we've got our CPU installed we've got the RAM installed and I'm holding this motherboard on some static absorbing foam there's two fans in the case there's one down in here at the front and there's one at the back and also you can't really see it in this but this is the back of the case there are some slots here and these are for the extra things that you can install with your system that plug into the motherboard so you would have one slot here for a graphics card another slot for some extra USB ports maybe Another slot might be sound card, another slot might be firewire port, and so on. And then you have these this template at the back, which is a generic template for a generic motherboard. And we don't we don't need that one because I've got a different motherboard. And I have this backing that, that uh, goes with my motherboard.